Hello everyone, it's Thursday morning. It's 11 a.m. I woke up at 6 a.m. because Aryan woke up early uh, and I'm just doing my packing for the cottage trip tomorrow. We are leaving to a cottage in Kavartha Lakes. So uh, with the baby, I had to like do like a lot of planning. I had to actually make a list and everything. I'm not done completely i've only packed like one suitcase so basically has my clothes Aryan's clothes um are like some toiletries like uh you know moisturizers like sunscreen sanitary pads all those things and i also have like towels um we actually booked an airbnb which is like a cottage uh, so they said that because of covid and all those things even like now there is like restrictions and they said that they will not provide beddings uh, or uh, towels so we have to bring those things so we have like i've packed uh, beach towels blankets pillow covers and all those things and uh, this is actually uh, Aryan's play pen but right now the problem is that since uh, he is roaming around and he doesn't want to be confined to the playpen. I keep the stuff that I want to keep away from him in the playpen. So this is like my office right now. I'm actually rendering a YouTube video right there which I want to upload today. For a trip I have to like plan because with the baby you can't just like you know backpack and go. So these are the stuff that I have to like get. So I have like made list. And since I am like vlogging I have to like get my tripods and stuff like that to my accessories. So this is the list that I have made. I'm planning to vlog this entire uh, cottage trip using my S22 uh, and uh, my GoPro if we are doing something adventurous because I won't be able to carry my S22 like in water and all that. Uh, so that's my plan. Uh, so let's see how the video will look after like, you know, vlogging using the camera phone. Today morning when I woke up, it was like really uh, like it was pouring like heavy. Now it's like clear skies. Hopefully through our trip, it stays like that. Look at my fig tree, guys. This is my bonsai fig tree that I bought. Um, we actually bought this. This is uh, actually two years old because we bought this uh, for our like wedding. And this is like my aunt's tree now. It's like looking a little droopy. And if you see outside, I just planted some uh, beans and it's actually doing pretty good. So this year I decided like not to do much because like I'm busy with the baby. Welcome to my channel Cuckoo Canadian. Uh, today uh, we are going to, for away for a cottage trip. It's actually at uh, near Kavartha Lakes. Uh, it's actually a lakeside cottage. We are very excited about the trip and I'm going to vlog the whole thing and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm just going to introduce myself again. My name is Shruti and this is Nick. That's my Hello. husband. <laughs> and uh, right now we are at Costco Niagara Falls. We're gonna fill up gas. Uh, we actually have a small Yorkie poodle. The Airbnb that we booked is actually not pet friendly, so we basically had to leave him at uh, Nick's parents. So we just did that, and now we're gonna. So because of that, we're gonna start our journey from Niagara Falls. Um, right now we're just getting gas. Since COVID, uh, none of the Airbnbs are actually. Uh, providing bedding for the guests so we basically have to carry our bedding Aryan is actually sleeping you can actually see on the mirror um, we have his baby bag and his bottles prepped here his diaper is over here uh, we have like some stuff on in the back it's like really packed because of these new rules next time uh, if, the, if the same rules are there I would rather book a hotel you know because we have to like carry everything, towel and everything. So um, since we are going like um, mostly like plastic free, we are carrying these one time use uh, tumblers for our, um, you know, drinks and just basically water. Um, and I have my gear over here, my GoPro gear. And that's about it. So Nicholas, are you excited about going to the Kavartha Lakes? What are yeah. you most excited about? 
I've never been there, so I'm excited about just seeing what all that stuff looks like. Do you think we should uh, see be bears there? We might. We might. I'm really excited about that because I have never seen bear like like in wild, you know. Um, the only animal that I have seen here is like basically deer and Hopefully fox. The bear's far away and not like. I, I hope he is near and uh, he, while we are in a car, you know, so that, you know, it will, like we are in a safe distance, we can drive away but still see them. You so know? we are on Queen Elizabeth Way and the place is 282 kilometers away, so it's like 3 hours and 35 minutes drive. And you can see that it's 28 degrees Celsius outside, which is actually pretty hot for Canada. But I'm really glad that it's actually a nice climate today and it's not like, you know, cloudy. Okay, so um, uh, it, we'll be reaching the destination at 3.46 p.m. It was 4.46 before. There is a one hour reduction in this uh, particular toll road. We actually have a Jeep Renegade uh, Trailhawk and uh, Nick previously owned a Fiat, like even now he has like a Fiat 500, it was his, uh, you know, our, our our car before. I really like Jeep, you know, after uh, using this car for like, how, how long it's been since we bought this car? Like October, last October we bought this car and it's been like nice and we love it, you know. We can take it to like places for like camping and stuff like that. It does pull 2000 uh, kilogram of like pounds of yeah it can pull 2000 pounds of uh, you know an rv or something so the kind of lifestyle that we want to this, this is kind of like an amazing car uh hi guys uh, so arun is up and we are like not uh paying him much attention because we just want him to like uh, not fuss till we get out of the highway um you can hear him talk in the backyard um sorry <laughs> You can hear him uh, talk in the back, a uh, background. He's just having some, you know, fa having fun, just playing with his blanket and all. Yeah. So once we get off the highway, we'll be making a pit stop, uh, getting you know, feed the baby, you know, maybe see if he needs a change, and then only we'll continue our trip. Beautiful country roads. This. Oh, there are like uh, cows on that hill actually. See? Wow, nice. Grazing on the. So it's like mostly like farmlands and stuff and these are like back country roads. This one is called uh, Peterborough Country Road 10. Yeah, like uh, there was another one called Peterborough Country Road 9. So it's like they, they have like all country road and then I think, you know. So it just says welcome to Kavartha Lakes. There uh, we are at Kavartha Lakes. But then when I'll get a, the... You'll get all of what we're seeing. Wow, look at that, eh? It's beautiful farmland. You can see silos at the end there. I'm not sure whether you can see it. Uh, but look at that, a eh? Beautiful day and beautiful road. Just having so much fun just driving through here. Enjoying your cruising? Mr. Oh, yeah. Nicholas? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so we just got in the road towards our cottage. We just got here and I just wanted to show you guys uh, the cottage and the property that we are going to stay for like four days. Uh, so behind me is the cottage and I'm just going to show you guys how it looks, okay? So this is the cottage. It's actually a three bedroom. It has like a very rustic cottage kind of vibe, like a wooden cottage cabin kind of vibe in. It's very small actually. Um, so let's just go and explore it more. And before that, I just want to show you guys uh, the driveway. So that's the driveway. That's our friend's car over there. And that's my uh, car. And there's like, actually you can see that there is a well over there, a small pathway that's leading to the cabin. They actually has uh, provided us with a barbecue and it actually ha comes with a propane cylinder. Looks like they have like the propane tank in here. I thought it was like for pool stuff, but no. Uh, let's go inside the cabin 
so once you enter you can see a space where you can you know uh, remove your shoes and there's like a big window and we can actually see outside from here there's a dining table with four Oh, they do that's good uh, so they have a dining table with four chairs and a, a functional kitchen with with an oven there is like burner and then there is even a dishwasher they have all the utensils that you require to like make uh, food and they also have a coffee machine all the pots and pans are like kept on a stand here there is this is actually a bottle opener if you see this you can just open beer using it's like a paddle board and they have like stuck it here that's nice walking through here you can see they have their cleaning equipments and all that stored away there's a small chair it's just kind of like a walk and this is the living room of the place you can see nick and ari chilling they have a huge poster of Shits Creek. <laughs> you like that show. Yeah, I know. That's, that's funny, right? Like, mm -hmm. where everyone fits in and look at the picture. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, they have a big Shits Creek, um, you know, wallpaper or like a wall art. There's a lot of DVDs that you can watch. Um, and then there is like a fold-out couch that can be converted into a bed. Um, there's a TV, some board games, when you come here as family, here you can see that they have actually have like a wood burning uh, heating system, so you basically open that and they even have like wood over there, so you put it in there and that's what keeps uh, the place cool at, I mean hot at night during winter times. I don't think we have to use this during summer, but let's see. There's like a small um, bar counter kind of area. And that's my friend Sid. Uh, we got an Aryan's uh, convertible bassinet for the trip so that we can leave him here like when he's sleeping and we don't have to worry that he's going to like jump off the bed or something. So, and here we have a mirror. So There's like a small corridor. This is one of the bedrooms. This is the one that we are going to use. It's like a double bed. We had to bring our own bedding and um, pillowcases and everything because of COVID rule. And um, they don't have a cooling system or air conditioning. So we have a fan for the night. There's a small bed lamp, a chair. The room is a little messy. I'll keep it like a little cleaner later. Right now we just got here. This is the bathroom. They have like a tub, a shower area, and a washroom. I think fancy. And this is another bedroom. Um, our friends who's supposed to stay in this room hasn't come. So So they actually oh where are you going, mister? towards the air vent which is very dirty so this is like they have like a small sunroom our sunrooms are basically a very open area where we can actually sit and like enjoy the sun that's what sunrooms are like it, we would call that a pool porch in Kerala or like in India I guess so once you open this you can here is the deck it's a very small deck and they have like a couch over here and uh, yeah so really small leg and they even have like an umbrella they have like a picnic table like a table where we can sit and eat food they have like an umbrella over there there are like few muskuka chairs over here and they actually have like a fire pit or like a campfire setup which we can use at night so this is a part of Kavartha lake there's like multiple lake systems in Kavartha lake and this is just one of the lake it's not uh, like 
very swimmable kind of lake because she, uh, the landlord mentioned that it's like a little weedy but it looks beautiful in this area they actually don't have much of a weed so maybe we can just get here and like play Arin might like it it's like very shallow too they have like a pedal boat that we can use and moving on this is the deck area so uh, they have a muskoka chair here and this is the view from the deck so this is how the back side of the cottage looks like and it's just gonna go back now so I hope you guys like the cottage um, and we are hoping that we will in, uh, love or like you know enjoy our stay here. Hello, we are at the beach. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Where do you think you're going? He wants to go in. So we are at the beach right now and it's actually cold so we are not going too much in there and uh, my son is oh. chilling with my friend over there. I just want to go in the water like Sid but I'm not Canadian like her you know, can't, I don't have that. Frisbee action. Not just a frisbee action, it's just that it's so cold the water you know. Yeah I'm not going, I'm just, I'm fine with walking around. Yeah I'm just fine This is refreshing and cooling enough for me. Plus there's like rocks everywhere, you can't really run. It's nice, I like the top. Thanks. So we're just, uh, you know, in the water because it's like a little hot. We just don't want to dunk in the water because it's super the, hot. Yeah. It's like really breezy. And, you see that nice. right? Really nice. So there's like a lot of uh, boats in the marina, if you can see. And I think we are the only crazy people in the, in the water right now. I hope it gets more sunny though. So it's evening and we're just gonna go for a walk. Teddy and Ari for a while. Huh? We're just taking Teddy and Ari for, for a walk. For a walk, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we are at our cottage trip and we just we just took him for a walk because we want to put him to sleep. Also we just wanted to like go for a walk, right? Yep. Explore the area. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's water towards that area, so we can check that out. Nick actually said that we should go, go check out Kawartha Dairy Farms because that's where like ice creams are made. And there's actually a brand called Kawartha Ice Creams, right? Yeah, I think I have seen it. So we're just going to check that out. So summer is the only time we can actually like enjoy water in Canada. So if you guys come here or plan to migrate here, I would suggest that you know save up during your winter and like you know enjoy your summer. That's uh, that's a good way to like you know have fun in Canada. You should be like high bear, you know, hibernate during like winter, uh, unless you are into winter sports. <laughs> if you are, then you go to like some mountains, but. Yeah, if you're not, just hibernate during winter and basically like travel during summer, right? Sorry. So one thing you have to be careful 
about is making sure you're, you you apply some you know insect repellent uh, cream on the babies because it's near to the water and there will be like a lot of insects so mosquitoes mosquitoes and insects yeah so yeah. you don't want him to be bitten by it and i also took a blanket for him thinking that it would be like might be like a little breezy outside but it's actually nice so he's still good for bugs yeah but i'm really glad i got it he's just playing with it look at the tiny little bullet <laughs> it's cute. So there's like we have like chicken coop in their front yard, and then they're selling uh, eggs here, fresh eggs. This is one of my dream, you know. When I get, when I get my own place, I want to have like a chicken coop behind my in in the backyard, you know. Just get like fresh eggs. It's night time, and we just turned on the fairy lights near the lake, so you can see that. Our front yard is like, I mean, the backyard is like pretty much lit. So, Nick is currently starting a campfire. So, so uh, in Kavartha Lakes, due to uh, wildfires, some days they uh, don't actually allow us to like have fire. Today, uh, the sign was moderate. So, they just mentioned that you need to have some caution while having the fire. So, we can't just, uh, you know, f light a campfire and then just leave it. You have to like basically make sure that it's like all put out before you go to sleep. Uh, you can get fined if, you know, they find out that, you know, it was left unattended or like burned during the night. So our friend actually booked uh, this place for us. We, uh, so six people are staying here and um, it's like a three bedroom, one bath, you know, kind of like small cottage. Uh, I wish it was a little more clean. They actually charge us a cleaning fee, but then I've noticed that you know it's actually not very clean. We actually had to come and clean it up. So that review is gonna go in her Airbnb. But um, you know, <laughs> but other than that, I really like the place. Uh, it's actually pretty beautiful, as you can see. Uh, in the opposite banks also you have like all these cottages and some are like vacation rentals, some are summer homes for people, and some people like actually live here. So. Bob Cajun is the uh, is the place name. It's, it wasn't like what we pronounced earlier, you know. It's Bob Cajun, like Pigeon, you know, kind of thing. Uh, so as I said, the I and I did look up. It's actually Sturgeon uh, Lake and Pigeon Lake. So it's a it's an interlocked land between Sturgeon Lake and uh, Pigeon Lake. So. It's nice and Kavartha Lake is like, as I said, like multiple lake systems and tomorrow we are going to see the Pigeon Lake, right? Sure. So Nick and I are out again in the paddle board today. So we're just gonna go for like, you know, some adventure stuff. I was doing it nice and good. Now you're turning around. You wanted to turn around? Did you mean to? Okay. So. We're just gonna have a little, some fun. Can I? Yeah, just keep.
fine, like it's fine. It's gonna be fine. Finally, yeah, we're back without um, any crashes and niggas going to park. Yeah, is it gonna build or like what's gonna happen? Let's see. Nick's just gonna dock it and he's gonna help me out. Dock with my leg, we're secure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, get out and hold the thing so that I can get out. God, I feel like I got heat stroke. <laughs> it's hot out there. It is. Good thing we have this Let's thing on. I'm just gonna be in the water, that's why I just wanna be, you know. I wanna be like that kid, you know, just lie on that floaty board and be like, ah, and, yeah, and then I'm just gonna float around. So, uh, as I said, uh, the bar Airbnb comes with a barbecue. So, Nick is just gonna start that. We have marinated some chicken, and that's what we are gonna do. My little baby oh, just woke up from his nap and he is was just crying and he just had milk and now he's like he's just chilling with me. <laughs> right, Aryan? I'm sorry to eat. Hey Nico, so this is the last day of our yeah. cottage trip. Yeah. We packed everything, Aryan and and Nick are just chilling. We just wanted to take some pictures before we oh, uh, wrapped everything. Ducks. And Aryan just got into ducks and he says he said duckies. So we are trying to see ducks so that he can say duckies. Our friends are just getting ready, so they will be just waiting on them. <laughs> we need to take a few a group pictures before we leave. You know, these are memories, right? Ow. For this vlog, I think, um, you know, it's just the lake and the cottage and just, you know. Bright, beautiful day in Canada. I hope you all enjoyed it. Arin sure had some fun. He was fussy last night, but that, that was because he was like very happy seeing all the people. Everyone was like carrying him around. He just didn't want to go to sleep. What have I found? Hey Ari. Hey Ari, what's on your face, Ari? Did um did Mama kiss you? Did Mama give you a kiss? Did you have fun on this cottage trip, Arian? Did you see duckies? Did you see birds? You did, eh? I want to see where's the fishies. The water. 